Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about writing copy that converts, so stay tuned. We're going to talk about copy that converts, one of my favorite topics. I'm going to go over four things that you can do to help your copy convert more effectively, more efficiently, and with a lot more fun. The first tip is to write in second person. Using language like we and our and you is far more effective than I, 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 me, 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 my, my, my. Okay? We at our core are selfish creatures and we want to know, your clients want to know how your program helps them. Not what you did that they can replicate, but how the benefits of your program help them. What is the outcome? Focus on talking to them, right? You, we, our, us are all great words to use. And a super um, copywriter trick that I use a lot when I'm editing clients' documents, every time you see the word, the word I or me, change it out to you or we and see how much it shifts your copy. Now that's not always possible, but when it is, if you should shift out those self-centered words, to more inclusive words, you're gonna be in a lot better shape. All right, my second tip is to get inside their heads as much as you can. Okay, guys, this is super duper important because if you are reading copy that feels like you are literally being heard, it's going to convert so much easier, so much easier. You're not even gonna believe it. So in order to do this, I made a list for you guys get the pen and paper ready. You can talk about something that they're struggling with um, that relates to the specific topic that you solve. You can talk about the feelings that they're having, their hopelessness, the overwhelm, the struggle. You can talk about how they're going to feel when that struggle stops, the relief, the calm, the confidence. You can talk about their deepest desires in terms of the topic. What do they really want? You can talk about who they get to become by using your program or solution. Okay, those are all really great ways to get inside their head and let them know that you're listening and paying attention. The third tip is to ditch the fluff and get to the point. Okay, that is super duper important. Now I'm going to pause here before I give this tip because you can find all of these tips and more in my new magazine, Copyright. You can subscribe down below at the link. It is briannagun.com forward slash magazine to make sure you get every issue. We publish the issues quarterly and the first one is coming out this month and I don't want you to miss it. Back to what I was saying. So ditch the fluff and get to the point. It is really common to see storytelling in emails and social media and they're great. Stories sell. But if all you do is talk about story, people oftentimes miss the point. So make sure you include some shorter copy and content that gets straight to the point of purchase so that your audience understands that they can actually do this thing, buy this thing to solve their problem. And the fourth tip is to inject some personality into your content. This is super duper important because there are a million coaches out there. And in order for you to stand out, you need to show up as you, you need to show up as you and you alone and inject your personality in all of the copy that you produce, all of the content that you produce so that people actually want to work with you. They can make a, make a decided choice and go, yep, that's the coach I want to work with. I like her voice. I like her style. I like what she stands for. She's very transparent and they want to go forward. All right, guys. Those are all the tips I have for you today. I hope that was helpful. Stay tuned for next week's video. Bye.